Almost every year, I get the opportunity to sit in on student interviews. So these are therapists, occupational or prospective occupational therapy students who are applying to the program at the local university that I'm an alumni of. And it's a great privilege, but it's also a great burden. It's really nerve wracking. I did not have to go through an interview process when I applied to the OT program at my college. And to set in on those interviews, I just feel for each of those students setting in on those interviews. And my wife and I had a conversation about this and we were thinking, is there not a better way? I mean, it's sort of harassment, not really, but they have to go through it. There has to be a way to determine who this person is and how they might be a therapist in the future. And really an interview, you know, a five, 10 minute interview is not a great way to do that. Everybody's on their best behavior. Everybody's dressing very nice. Everybody's smiling. You don't get to see them under that much pressure. I mean, it's pressure, but you don't get to see them interact with a group. You don't get to see them interact with a patient. It would be better almost if it was an internship, almost. Like, hey, come in here for a couple months. We're going to give this a try and see if this is a good fit for you and a good fit for us. But the constraints of access to the therapy program don't allow for that, unfortunately. So as I sit in on the interview process, the answers to the questions, which the questions are standardized, we ask the same question to each of the students, but the answers all start to sound the same, especially if the student has sit in on these mock interviews, which I highly suggest that you do because I can always tell the difference between students who have sat in on an, uh, mock interviews and those who have not practiced at all. So you have to practice your interview skills. It's, it's, it's going to pay off big time. So my first suggestion, if you're a student who is going to have a future interview, my first suggestion to you is to listen to the question. There might be more than one part. Be sure to answer part A, part B, maybe part C. And it's okay to repeat that question or to ask whoever is asking the question to repeat the question. Hey, can you repeat that question? They're going to say this, the same exact thing, or you can repeat it to yourself. And that buys you time because you might be thinking, I have no idea the answer to this question. And what often happens is what, because I find myself doing this, is a student will start talking and then they get, you know, 10, 20 seconds into it and they realize, oh my goodness, I'm talking. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm going to say next because you're going to be nervous and that's expected. So repeat the question. If you get stuck halfway into it, repeat the question or you can ask whoever's asking the question to repeat it. Hey, I'm kind of stuck here. Can you repeat that question? The next thing is to elaborate on your answer. So a lot of students will give a very short answer and it might be a decent answer, but if every, if there's time and there's space that the person who's asking the question is allowing, elaborate on that answer because that's going to give us more information. It's going to make your answer seem different from everybody else's answer and stand out. Like I said, practice and join some groups at your school who are doing mock interviews. There's probably going to be an activity where it asks you to think on your feet. And so it might be a task like, hey, I want to see how you do this, or tell me how you would do this. And it's going to make you think on your feet. Don't panic. All right, don't panic. Don't say, oh, I don't know. That's that's a hard one. I really don't know. Don't ever say, I don't know. You can say, that's a good question. Let me think about that for just a second. And then take a moment. It's okay if there's dead space, if there's quiet. That's okay. Take a minute to think about the question. Repeat the question to yourself. Be sure you answer each part of the question. And that will put you over the top. All right. Thanks for watching. Godspeed to you and your practice.